Let's see what the fans think. We'll lose by 40 with Jimmy to the Bengals. Just let Trey play the rest of the way. Oh, I don't know about that. The Bengals aren't as good as you think they are. Like, it's weird, man. It's Not funny good. because the, 40, the 49ers have games where they look like world beaters sometimes. Same right? with like, Cincinnati. And same with Cincinnati. And then they'll yeah. have a game where you're like, what the hell was that? The Cincinnati Bengals lost to Mike White. But the thing to me – yeah, that's a good point. To me, though, the difference – the, the Niners are inconsistent because – they, they're kind of in a lame duck year with a bunch of vets who may not be here next year. That makes sense. The Bengals are inconsistent because they're young and they've been yeah. good for a minute and a half and they don't quite understand how to handle it, but they're pretty so, talented. Yeah, They are talented. They yeah. are talented and they yeah. are in different places, right? One right. team was expected to be a certain place and this team was supposed to be on the rise. But right. at the same time, yeah. I can correlate a lot of the same things with them. They've, had, they've got games where- And the result they, is very similar. It's right. very they, similar. Yes. They, 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 beat, they beat the Ravens in Baltimore, right? The, and the Ravens wow. were the number one seed for a while. Oh, wow. Look at Cincinnati. Get whipped by the Jets. With also, the thing that's interesting about Cincinnati is they're very much in play for the division, for their division. Yeah. I, they may have a better chance at that than wildcard in the AFC. So, interesting team. We'll see how it goes. Big game yeah. for them, too. Yeah. Uh, Kyler V says Kyle calls Trey the backup quarterback, quote unquote. He's not just any backup quarterback. He's a number three pick who you gave up so much draft capital port for. If Kyle wanted a backup, he would have kept Mullins. Yeah, the, the whole backup quarterback rhetoric is like, it's like, hold on. You just expect me to forget how you got the backup quarterback? That's no, I can't. <laughs> what? Look, yeah, I may just I may disagree with the way that Kyle's handling this and everything. And I think that if if someone came to Kyle with a crystal ball, and he said, after 12 games, you're going to be six and six. He would have probably said, well, the hell with that. Uh, yeah, I would probably right. have just played the kid, right? So right. it's a miscalculation on his part. But that doesn't mean that you reverse because I or, yeah. that, or, because, or because I disagree with what he's doing, that it may not have the right result, right? Like, yeah. I don't agree. We'll have to find out, right? Right, exactly. We're only going to know next year. I don't but agree. here's what's going to happen. I guarantee it. If, if Trey Lance is good, people like me are going to say, should have been playing last year. Man. And if it's bad, people like other people are going to be like, should have taken that. He sucks. And I'll be like, I'm going to be like, no, see, you should have been playing last year. <laughs> well, I mean, it's just no matter what happens, the, people are going to dig in and be right no matter what happens. That's the thing. It's kind of yeah. been this whole quarterback situation has kind of been bungled from the start, in my yeah. opinion. It's it's mismanaged, miscalculated, whatever word you want to use. Um, and, and a lot of that has to do with what's going on in the locker room and we don't know and we're just speculating yeah, but i mean hey look i mean that's it like you're not going to see trey this year so just i, I don't want to be that guy to tell you're you what to think yeah i don't want to be that guy to tell you what to think but i don't well, think we're going to talk about trey team. again in a minute because i have questions about like why why he can't play mm -hmm. at all anymore but we're going to save that for a second eduardo says the situation is different because steve young had 19 games under his belt with tampa and he had bill walsh and joe he also played at the usfl he was much, he was older um, I could see why and we also it's it's not a one to one. And he also said maybe there is something from start from sitting a year. Also, Alex Smith, I'm sure, wishes he didn't have to play right away. The difference is this team is good. What's the worst that's going to I don't know. I don't want to go on tangents, though. Zuby just says, take my money. Thank you, Zuby. I appreciate you. That Niner guy says Steve has never shut up about how he sat too long. His book is hilarious. It's like two chapters. Look, we all feel Trey should be playing, but not happening unless if the Niners losing. But it is a waste. Yeah, I guess that's for him to come out and say waste lost years is uh, hard for people to hear because it's freaking Steve Young saying it. It's not Jeff Garcia or Rich Gannon. It's Steve Young. Right. And people have asked me on Twitter about, well, let's just say tomorrow Kyle Shanahan says Trey Lance is starting the rest of the season. What would your expectations be? I would be like I would reset my expectations because yeah. now it, it changes from wins to development. I need to see development over wins. There's a world where you win games, but Trey Lance isn't making those strides, and that'll make that'll worry me more than if you're losing, but Trey is developing and, and going through progressions and doing a little bit more. So I think that that's, again, expectations. There's somebody on Twitter that continues to at people about Trey Lance's one interception in that Arizona game as if that is anywhere comparable to an eight-year veteran and a, and a guy playing in his first game. That is not an apples to apples comparison at all. And I think that that was all I needed to know, that that's what's going to happen next year when Trey starts. He's going to throw a pick or they're going to lose maybe two or three games in a row or something like that. And, ah, oh, Jimmy's never lost three games in a row. See, this is. He's no, like, hold on. No, I, 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 got, I got some expectations. You might think they're too high, but and they, I, I really think this would happen now. If Debo Samuel comes, even if without Debo Samuel, 
But the minute Trey Lance becomes the quarterback, the run game is going to improve in yards per carry. Just right there. Yeah. By I like mean, a full yard. Zone B. So I mean, I'm just saying, I mean, no matter what, no matter how he's handing off the ball, he's going to draw attention from the defense and that's going to open up lanes for the running backs. That's going to be the first thing. And like, if he gets to actually play the way Jimmy does, where you get to throw 19 times, hand off 40 times, I think he'll be quite good, but we'll see. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. We'll see. Maybe he really did miss out on a lot of experience. Uh, Developmental time this year. Brown Licker Baron says, "Do you think Banana Hands has something against the black quarterback?" No, that's I don't speculating. think he does. That's I don't speculating. Think he does. Yeah, no. no, I don't think that's it. I don't. I mean, he drafted Trey Lance, right? He wanted Trey Lance, drafted him. So, yeah, I'm gonna say no on that one. Yeah. Zuby Wilson says, "Do you ever notice that what Trey does? I just think he's old school. I just think Kyle and his dad are old school in the sense that Correct. he's got to learn." Kids got I mean, I, today. It's like get him on the freaking field, man. Correct, I just think and feel like that. And that's why when you bring up the Washington situation, they yeah. drafted two quarterbacks. They were both rookies, so one of them had to play. Now, in this case, Kyle is very much old school of get a clipboard, son, and get, get it between your ears before you right. start. It's not right. the way things are going right now. Josh Allen yeah. took his lumps. You threw Kyler Murray out there right away. You know, like yeah. though, that's the way things are. The, the the league is changing. But hey, again. If that's his plan, yeah. I am going to choose to trust the plan and hope for the best, even yeah. if I disagree. It's not that it's a terrible plan. It's just not taking advantage of the rookie wage scale. We've talked about it a million times, but that's the the trend now. You're not really – it's like living in 1996, but, you know, people won Super Bowls in 1996 too, namely his dad, yeah. 97. All right. It's like, has, well, it's like in 2021 using a disc man. Pretty much. Instead of, well, instead of an yeah. iPhone. <laughs> you know? I mean, it's still, you can still jam to it. I you mean, can still... still use the disc, man, yeah. and listen to a CD, but it's not efficient. Like, that's <laughs> not it. It's so much easier to just use your damn phone. It's going to keep skipping, and you're going to be like, man, I can't run. Let me just walk briskly. <laughs> Zuby says, do you ever notice that trade, uh, what trade does during games? Is he watching and talking about what he sees with the quarterbacks, coach sitting on the bench? That's a good end. Maybe I'll take a little – maybe I'll do some videos of him next time. That's a good one. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. I'll do some sideline stuff. That's a good call. 